So I'm out here going to make a stake, and it's uh, in honor of uh, mental, men's mental health uh, awareness. And I'm going to tag two people later in the video. But I'm going to start a fire the way I like to, the old way, when I can. You see all the snow out here. Um, and I'll talk more about the mental health part later, but I'm going to make a stake a little differently too. So stay tuned. I'm going to use my Revenant fork here that I made some time ago to actually uh, get a spark going. got to concentrate and everything keep them dry. And that wasn't too hard. Shouldn't have spoke too soon. Here we go. My fire lay was a little bit further back there that I could lean against, so that wasn't so good. Anyway, flint and steel fire with my revenant fork. I'm going to use it for the steak later, too. We've got to keep things dry here, like I said. Everything is all wet. Um, I guess I'll expose the secret right now. I'm going to cook the steaks on these rocks, which means I've got to get these rocks dry so they won't uh, crack or explode on me. And I'm going to put them around the fire once the fire gets going to... Uh, let them warm up and I'll clean them off too. So when I get the fire going and of course to cook the steak I'm going to need a lot of coals so it'll be a little bit before I actually get uh, the steak even started. But stay tuned. Okay I might as well talk about the mental health deal anyway while I'm letting my coffee water warm up and I got two rocks here and probably can't see it in the focus here but two rocks here that I'm going to cook the steak on so I'm drying those out. In the meantime I'm getting the fire going to get coals. It's not really that cold out. Um, no one would probably ever come here today or hardly ever anyway with all the snow to get down in here off the road. It's uh, not a designated road really right now so really out here and it's really peaceful and the idea of uh, being tagged uh, to uh, talk about men's mental health is that a lot of times as a lot of the other youtubers have said that uh, men don't get enough recognition as far as uh, uh, being talked to or having someone to talk to they bottle it up um, whatever it could be. It doesn't have to be someone necessarily with PTSD even. It uh, could be just someone that is having some financial problems, marital problems, or whatever. And uh, they, uh, they need to get it out. And so uh, I have a lot of friends that are ex-military and stuff like that and some that have fought and went through some really tough times and uh, they are getting help. Um, one guy in particular that uh, I know of uh, distantly was uh, was a uh, ranger, and he had all kinds of you know bad things happen, but he took the positive outlook 
and he started doing these outdoor activities and taking guys out and uh, introducing them to the woods more and how peaceful it can be and uh, how to survive more in the woods or get along in the woods versus fighting in the woods you might say but it's getting hot but anyway that is the whole idea I have to get over here for a second um, but men need to talk about their problems as well as women women are pretty good about talking and getting things out and, and uh, in the air but men's nose bottled up so that's why we're doing this uh, make a steak uh, uh, idea guys like to go out and make a steak cook a steak and I'm going to show you how to cook a steak on these rocks and uh, have a nice uh, lunch it's midday right now and so the whole idea if we could get more guys to talk and come out with their problems and uh, have somebody they can befriend that will listen to them it doesn't take a psychologist or anything like that it's just somebody to be there to listen to them and uh, be a friend so that's what it's all about that's why we're doing this I'm going to say right now, in case I forget who I'm tagging, but I'm tagging Dan Ward, Ochoco Bushcraft, uh, that lives east of me here, and he loves to get out and do this sort of stuff. And then a lot of you know, really big monkey, um, he is a super bushcrafter, camper, hunter, whatever, he, he does it all. He's really a crafty person, he can make things out in the woods, it's just incredible, and I really admire him. So I'm tagging those two people, Really Big Monkey and Ochoco Bushcraft, and I'll uh, put that on my video as well as uh, put it on theirs, their uh, channel. So anyway, um, looks like my coffee water is getting pretty hot here, so I'll be able to have a coffee, and it'll be a while before I have steak. I got some beans too, so it's kind of going to be in uh, uh, process, you might say. The rocks are drying out real fast. They're doing real good. This heat generated here is incredible. And so I want them nice and dry before I put them on. I'm going to put a couple logs down and put the rocks over them and put coals in between. So um, that's how I'm going to cook them. So I'm going to get my coffee going. Well, my coffee's ready. This is a nice spoon that I was given by uh, Hablo on Bushcraft USA forum. I haven't used it in a long time, but I'm going to use it today. Beautiful spoon. Anyway, cheers. Mmm. Tastes good. A little bit too hot, but now watch me spill it. Anyway, that's the coffee. Sit here and get coals going more. Well, it's pretty incredible out here. I had to put a tarp up. It started raining. Not very hard, though. But uh, you never know when a storm comes through here. It's just so fast. Anyway, it's so peaceful out here. You can be by a roaring fire one minute. Or a roaring river the next minute. Be by a quiet brook. Beautiful. So I'm ready to put my steak on now. I'm not sure how well you can see the rocks here, but it's ready. There we go. Beautiful. It seems to cook 
a little bit more evenly than uh, grills that I've used but fun way to do it no matter what I heated the rocks up so they should be okay and now we'll just turn it every once in a while well things are coming along really good I got some uh, beans are cooking here and some beans and steak and the steak uh, I like well done so I'm making sure that um, I do that I don't have the ideal coals underneath this one so I'll probably have to transfer this steak over there when these are getting finished and my beans are are slowly cooking there's no rush on them so looking forward to some good steak and beans what better place to bring a buddy out and talk things over and just shoot the breeze you know and not have to worry about any other things around you it's really peaceful here and I would highly recommend guys getting together and doing this and uh, just discussing things men's mental health uh, is super important and that's why we're doing this cook a steak for uh, men's mental health so one steak uh, is ready to eat I uh, got this knife from Greg Booth is his name uh, and he's a knife maker and I thought I'd use it out here today. It's more of a vegetable cutter, but on the board here, it really works well. So, use my Revenant fork and neat cutter. I pre-seasoned this steak already before I put it on the rocks. Mmm. Really good. My uh, beans are hot too down here, so grab them and put them up on my rock here. right out of the can. Mm. Beans and steak. Mm. Well, it's around two o'clock and I got hungry for sure. there a little bit too far. Good to wear gloves with the hand that you're putting close to the fire. You probably obviously know that. That one's really nice and done. So I'm going to eat uh, the steak and not have you have to watch me but it's all done. Right there, and then I got my plate over here on my raised bed. So, might have another cup of coffee later, too. To men's mental health. So, really big monkey and Ochoco bushcraft. Your tag. And whatever you want to talk about, if you have some real life experiences or whatever. But, uh, this is cook a steak and discuss men's mental health. Got to point out, by the way, that this is also a flint and steel striker on this end here. And it's a super cutter. First time I really used it for what it's supposed to be used for. And the beans are excellent. 
I just cook them in the coals. I got had to get away from the fire. The smoke was getting me. Anyway, men's mental health. 